fashion designer Remy Hu's clothing line, engineered by Remy, has been recognized by celebrities and stylists throughout Hollywood. Emerging talents like this are exactly why Los Angeles is rapidly evolving into one of the country's leaders in fashion. We took an exclusive look behind the scenes as Remy prepared for his final runway show of 2009. Los Angeles, the land of opportunity. In this town, Hollywood hopes become heartbreak in an instant. Only a chosen few have what it takes to stand out. And nobody's rise to fame is the same. Follow me as we take a look at some of the city's freshest emerging talent. Dreams don't just happen, they're made in LA. I totally got a different story, you know, a new look, new, new design, new jackets, and it's gonna be the whole idea of the future of fashion. I got some, you know, ideas that are working with that. How would you describe your line? Hmm. Well, you know the word. Have you ever ever heard the word hot, hot couture, hot couture? Not hot, but it sounds like it's hot. Um, so my most of my design or couture kind of like one of a kind. So when I do create um, you know, jackets, pants, belt, all that you know necessity, it's actually specifically for a certain event. Uh, could be a red carpet event for a celebrity photo shoot, you know, a music video, a product placement in the movie, or even a fashion show. Fashion show. So we got the leather jacket, cracking, bow ties, light brown slacks, all white tuxedo shirt. Killing, killing. <laughs> Take us back to the beginning and how Engineered by Remy got started. In 2006, that's how it got, you know, the idea started, and I was trying to figure out different names here and there. And engineered by Remy, you know, it it um, it meant that I am the designer, kind of like an engineer. It goes from concept to blueprint to pretty much everything from stage one to you know stage two and all the way to the end. So I don't just design and have somebody do the work. Um, engineer meaning that I do all the work myself from beginning to end. Because when um, you're in need of something, you have to be the one to deliver your vision. How much time did you uh, have to put in to prepare for tonight? Still to the last, you know, like the day of, I'm still sewing the most, a lot of crazy stuff, you know. I got sick, I couldn't finish some of the stuff, car ran out of gas, you know, uh, the sewing machine broke, and you know, it's just so much stuff that, that went on. But I'm happy that I was able to make it out of here and the models are wearing the pieces. And we're going to put on like, you know, a good show, a great show that uh, people will love and enjoy. talk a lot about struggle on this show, but your story is a little bit different than most. Your family escaped captivity in, in Cambodia and came to the United States looking for a better life. How does that affect your perspective on what it means to make it? You know, there's, there's, to be honest, like it's, uh, for me, it's really fortunate to be here. It's an opportunity, um, something that I don't think I'll be able to get if I was back home. So it's like a blessing for, for me to be here and at the same time for me to be able to do what I do coming from nothing. Um, the success, you know, the, the passion, the dream, it all derives from, you know, all the struggle that I've, I've, I've went through. Because sometimes designing, it, it's not easy. Dealing with people is not easy. But the more that I think about it, the more that I look back and how I started from nothing and how I went through life and death situation in Cambodia and to be able to be here, um, it just, you know, it just tells me that I'm blessed, you know, to be able to do what I'm doing right now. I'm doing isn't on the shelf. I'm doing it specifically, you know, for a certain a certain look, a certain person, or whoever it is. I'm building basically for a star. So, and that's where the word whole couture and bespokes are, are, are meant to be. Uh, a smart consumer that know what they need and what they want to be able to stand out 
um, and being able to stand out differently from the crowd.